Thank you, Roger, for joining us once again in the Foundation Happy Talk. Happy to be here. We have chosen to sit outside, outdoor mm -hmm. in nature, to talk about the sustainability. How do you feel? Oh, sustainability is a, is a difficult subject. I think that is the most challenging and most uh, tricky one, I think, for most foundations out there. Just to maintain great sustainability for projects is so much work and so much dedication. And I think that's why I like it, because it's a big, big challenge. Well, so then let's uh, talk about what do we understand about being sustainable in all our intervention. Well, I think once we intervene and we help, you know, the people is that once we were to leave is that they're sustainable by themselves. It could be in any field. It's just that we have empowered them. We have made them stronger. We gave them advice, tips, help them financially, but mostly they help themselves. And because of our help, now it is sustainable. And education is actually quite an easier task than other ones to be sustainable. Of course, in education, what I like about it is once you've given it to someone and one was really willing to learn, you don't forget. Norm, I mean, you might forget a few things, but, <laughs> Unfortunately. but the base is always there. And through that, actually, you're going to be a stronger person and you're going to understand messages better. You're going to be more stronger um, moving forward. And that then helps sustainability as well through education, absolutely. More challenging is it when we talk on the level of uh, schools to make them sustainable in uh, achieving a higher quality of education is, is quite a challenge. And it is important that we keep our footprint as low as possible. Yes, and of course we would like to change everything overnight and change the world. Uh, give great buildings, you know, where they could have school in, that the teachers are the best in the world, that everything works perfectly, but it's just not um, quite possible, to be honest. So that's why we have to take it step by step. Uh, make it sustainable, only then we're going to have big achievements. And we should not just donate, we should empower people. Yeah, I mean, capacity building is strong. Like you said, I, th I love empowerment. Uh, just in general, making somebody a stronger person and then that person being able to do it on their own is, is a wonderful thing. For instance, with the feeding initiatives we have, you know, um, when I went there and um, I had lunch with them together, we were all cooking maize together and uh, instead of just donating food or money so they could buy food, well, how about growing your own food and make that sustainable? So here we are in a huge pot cooking, feeding everybody. The kids are happy, parents are happy, teachers are happy everybody walks away you know feeling much better about themselves so I love that initiative for instance and we basically have it across the board in all the projects we support. Absolutely it's always uh, very nice to see how proud people are mm -hmm. they are capable to feed their children on their own. Yeah a, a little push can really do wonders and uh, we're gonna keep doing that for, for years to come. This we achieve only through a mindset change but mm -hmm. such a mindset change does not come overnight. Not at all. It, it takes quite a while. Um, that's why we're in these projects or in these places for probably at least five years. Um, and I think there we can have a, a great impact. But of course, when you have to change a whole country, then it takes 10 years. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a long time and we did that in Malawi. We went to see um, the government there. We spoke to them and that was for me really for the first time I could see at the government level what impact we can have as a foundation. I thought that was really, really interesting. Today we see first results. So I think the long-term investment does pay off. It's great. And that's why we said in the beginning, sustainability is uh, a tricky one, but a good one. And I'm totally motivated and I'm all in. I'm ready. Great.